Hey guys, welcome back. Something significant's happened on the CBI website, and I want to show that to you. Let's let's look at a couple of things right now, um, and let's let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so through time, we've seen numerous articles from the Central Bank of Iraq uh, stating delete the zeros from the Iraq currency. Okay, here's one right here. If you look look in this highlighted area, it says the Central Bank in 2011 put forward a project. To, to delete the zeros for the structure of the currency, which the bank considered it would transfer Iraq from the country of trillions to billions. And that's one of the things I've always said to you is that the Iraqs, when Iraq goes to change the rate, their budget would no longer be in the trillions, it would be in the billions, okay? Now, that project met with great opposition by specialists and politicians in parliament. Now, Let's look at this. What does it mean to delete the zeros? What is the definition of that? Okay. Well, here we go. The word delete means to eliminate by blotting out. So it could be cutting out. It could be erasing. That would be a lop. Okay. Um, it doesn't mean to remove by gathering or withdrawing. So right there, it's telling you it has nothing to do with with but it, it it does not mean removing or withdrawing from circulation okay it's a referring to deleting the zeros in the exchange rate so there you guys go what does it mean to delete the zeros guys it means to remove zeros in the exchange rate okay again de, per per what the definition of deleting means on Google, it says to remove zeros from the exchange rate. So if the definition of deleting the zeros is removing the exchange rate, let's let's look at this for a second, okay? Right here, um, right here we have point triple zero eight four is the value of the U.S. dollar against the Iraq dinar. So per that last definition, if we took the zeros off the exchange rate it would become 0.84 okay now let's look at this for a second okay follow me here closely because I'm gonna jump around a little bit the quarantine period for the coronavirus started actually I've shown you guys that previous calendar by Kuwait it went from March 12th through April 26th okay but Iraq if the quarantine period started on March 12th Iraq did not shut down their financial markets until March 17th through April 26th. So if the quarantine period really started on March 12th, okay, but the initial shutdown did not start down, did not sh start or shut down until March 17th, is it, was it really linked to the coronavirus? Eh, probably not, but it's partially timed. It's timed with the coronavirus. Okay, so that's what I'm showing you. They're they're using they're using the ISX uh, to be shut down. They're using the timing of that partially linked to the quarantine curfew of the coronavirus. But notice how they didn't start at the same time. That's what I want to raise to you in this. Okay, the shutdown of the ISX didn't start till March 17th when the initial corona shutdown was was actually March 12th. Okay, think about that carefully. So, so what I'm trying to show you there is they're using the coronavirus as an excuse to shut down the ISX stock market. Okay, it's not a okay. So the, again, it's just an excuse because the ISX or the Corona started on March 12th, but the ISX shutdown did not occur until March 17th. So you guys got that? Let's move forward now. Okay. So overall, the this whole I've called this a process to you guys. I've told you it's a rate change process and it's taking like roughly like five weeks why why would it take so long guys what if this was a multi-step process okay again what if this what if they started this on march 17th but because it's a multi-step process they needed five weeks to commission this so let's look at this i told you guys something significant happened on the cbi's website what happened right here you have to look to the far right edge of this, but approximately on, I think, basically what they did, guys, you have to look at the far right edge, like the very right edge. 
the overall price index of the Erex stock exchange shot up from millions to billions. It increased, they, you know, it increased their transition from million to billions. Now, here's the thing, guys. Let's let's look at this on a finer scale. Okay, here's now just so you guys know, back on this one right here, this start, I this this search started pretty much from um this is pretty much from January of here. I'll hold on, give me two seconds here. Let me just refresh this. From zero one, zero one. Okay. Let me just refresh this real quick to show you. Okay. So as you guys see right here, here's from January 1 of 05 to, to current 419 of 20. That's a roughly a, you know, you figure from, from 5 to 15 would be 10. So, you know, you add another 5. That's a 15-year uh, range in this, okay? So here's a 15-year range in this going from January of 05 to current 419 of 20, okay? Now... So over the last 15 years, you can see that, that the stock market has never shot up from millions to billions. This is huge, okay? Now, let's look at this on a tighter scale, not, okay, so this guy's right here. This is from basically the end of February, February 29th of this year to current. Now, look down at the bottom. I'm going to slide up for you a little bit. Okay, look at the bottom. I'm going to highlight something for you. It tells you this was last updated down here. Or last modified as of 413. So that's that's when this new this new step or this new uh, change structure was posted down here was as of 413 of 2020. Okay. Now, guys, based on the math on this, what it's showing you is they transitioned at they and they posted this as of 413. But remember, I'm trying to show you this is most likely a multi-step process. I'll get into all the steps with you, okay? But again, multi-step. So as of right now, if you guys, if we crunch the numbers in this, because it's because it's transitioned with the current math, okay? Right now it shows it's roughly around it's it's ten, the, that the based on the math on this, the dinar is currently again with this math in about the 80 cent range, okay? Right in there, about in the somewhere in the 80 cents, okay? But so this is so it's showing you right now it's pretty much one to one one to one with the dollar as if they took the um hold on guys where was that I was trying to find that for you I think it's right right here whoops right there oh, nope nope no that's not it hold on where they took okay that's it right there so if they took this and remember I told you the definition of deleting the zeros me, me, means to remove zeros from an exchange rate so if you delete the zeros it takes it to 0.84 okay but again in this graph right here, again, if we do the numbers, it's pretty much showing you right now because they transition from millions to billions that it's basically one to one with the dollar in the 80 cent range. But what if this is multi-step? So, and that's why the whole process is taking five weeks. What if the first step was they had to delete the zeros off the exchange rate to make it one to one with the dollar, which is what this right here what is revealing to us that it's one to one with the dollar okay and then right from right there okay so that would take care of the first step but let's look at something guys let's look at um what now what does general price index mean remember i showed you uh, up here it says at the very top it says general price index of a rack stock exchange okay let's look at the definition of what does general price index mean Measure of change of general level of prices. So it's it's the change of general level of prices of goods and services. The general indexes gauge the change in purchasing power of the dollar. Now, this is using the U.S. dollar as an example, okay? But overall, it just means the general index gauge a change in purchase power against the value of whatever currency it's it's referencing, okay? Now, let's look at something. Remember, I've told you this would be a multi-step process. So step one would be, the, as you guys saw, they would have to delete the zeros off the exchange rate, making it one to one with the dollar. That would be, that would be showing that the dollar would be uh, 84 cents against the dinar. Okay. So, so again, right there, you'd have, you'd have your, your 84 cent, the dollar, 
the dollar would be worth 84 cents against the dinar. The dinar would be a little bit, you know, would have higher value, of course. So, so there you go. So that would be step one. Well, well, let's see what this tells us right here. What's the date on this, guys? I see right here, this was actually posted on January 4th of 18. Wow, that's pretty current. What does this article state? It says a simulation of the dinar exchange rate is linked to a basket of currencies, guys. So back in January of 18, the central bank, okay, performed a virtual test linking the dinar to a basket of currencies. What if that is step two? What if, again, what if, what if that's the reason why the entire process of the Iraq dinar is taking five weeks again because it's a multi-step process so step one would be they have to delete the zeros like they've told you okay which is removing the zeros from the exchange rate okay which is that's what they would have done starting around you know somewhere around when they first shut down the ISX around March 17th okay they start by deleting the zeros making it one to one with the dollar but look right here, they're telling you that the exchange rate, okay, that what they're going to do is they're actually going to, un in this, they, they state in this article here that they're going to unpeg from the dollar and repeg to a currency assortment basket. But this was, again, this was a virtual test performed in January of 18. Let's look at how Kuwait structured because one of the things I've been stressing to you guys is that I've showed you on many levels that Iraq is following suit with Kuwait and they're walking, Iraq's following and walking in Kuwait's footsteps. This is how Kuwait is structured today. The Kuwait dinar is a currency of, of Kuwait and it's the most value, valuable currency on earth. The currency fluctuates in a relatively small range and is pegged to an undisclosed basket of currencies, guys. So, guys, if, if all that Iraq had to do was unpeg from the dollar, okay, and or I'm sorry, let, if all, oh, correction, let me rephrase this, if all that Iraq had to do was to just delete the zeros and become one to, do, one, to one with the dollar and it was not a multi-step process, the rate change wouldn't need five weeks because technically, as you guys saw, they already did that step closer to March 17th. They don't need five weeks on that. But if it's a multi-step process where they have to unpeg, or correction, not unpeg, but actually turn around and um, uh, delete the zeros, which I showed you factually, delete the zeros means remove zeros from the exchange rate. That would take the uh, the that would make the uh, the dinar kind of one with the dollar at about an 84 cent rate, okay, per per these graph charts right here, which strongly shows they've already done that. Then step two would be they would actually, un, when, when they actually become international, they unpeg from the dollar and go to the currency assortment basket, which actually would give them, it, it could give them a greater rate closer to where Kuwait is today. You know, Kuwait's in the three plus range. So guys, that's what I believe is happening here. I believe that's why the overall process is a five week process because it's multi-step. They have to delete the zeros first, as the articles to told you. Removing the zeros from the exchange rate, that would make the Iraq dinar and the dollar one-to-one. -one. And then as they get closer to the rate change, they will unpeg from the dollar and peg to a currency assortment basket. So there you guys go. That's my opinion of what's happening. You guys can have your opinions too. Uh, share your opinions, guys. I'd love to hear what you have to say too. And let's let's see what we can put together on this. God bless you guys and have a great day.